All right, let's get started. So we got three tiny things I want to get taken care of first, and then um, I want to do something fun uh, that hopefully won't introduce too many new bugs, because I need to get this uploaded to Steam <clears throat> by tomorrow. Uh, so let's see. Uh, AI need to fix the sword and then change up some lighting for the player and then adjust the font, the sprite font, because some people have been saying it's uh, one of the fonts is too uh, hard to read, so I want to take care of that. So let's do the AI first because I know, I think it's just some commented code. And I'm really wondering about having, always having four players out. I might be experimenting with that. Um, but for now, it's just, just an option. AI. Okay, so I think it's in the scripts. Player. Player. Okay, so here. Shoot, did I delete? I think I did. Close to a destructible object. So where did that go? Instance exists. Alright, so I... Too far... Let's see... Let's put this after... Closer to destructible object... So the target... Player target. X near to start Texas. Try this. Because <clears throat> these AI are getting hung up on the destructible objects, and this seemed to deal with it fine. Because I guess this, the way I'm calculating the paths, they're not taking destructible objects into account, so we need to shoot them. And then, if this works, the next thing I need to fix is the sword. Because I made changes that... That kind of uh, makes it not as effective. Just, 
Okay, so... Let's see... Alright, so... this out so I can test this. Oh my god. Alright. Huh. I can't tell. If, uh... Whoa. I wonder if these guys should move in like a conga line behind me. Probably be the best way of having them. Alright, here this out. Shit. Shit. Come get me, bro. Fuck. I destroyed that thing. I didn't want to destroy. Blow up all the. Th okay, here we go. Come on. Ah, uh, you're not supposed to get stuck on that. All right. What is uh? What is this doing? I know. I know where I can test this more effectively. Let's just make a new game. So it seems like they always follow too closely to me to get stuck behind doors, which is, I think, is what the problem was that I was trying to solve originally. Fuck. See, that was the other part I wanted to test. What the f 
fuck. It all exploded. God damn it. Well, I don't really know if this is working. Well, I don't really know. <sighs> this is very last, so this should be executing. Us. Between me and the player, are there any destructible objects? Um, so that has to be true. Maybe it's this. Uh, let's try like 48. So if the distance between us and the nearest destructible object is less than 32. Every time. Destroys every single one. Oh, let's see if we can find another. Those destructible blocks would have been a good... Let's do that. Let's try that again. Yeah, okay. We're gonna test this on those, uh... Whoa! Shit!
Shit, all my all my bros are dead. There we go. Yeah, they shot it. Cause he was. Yeah. All right. Now, yeah, that was just it. That was the distance. Yeah. See, now they're shooting their way through. Okay. Cool. So that works. Awesome. Ah, finally something goes semi according to plan. Okay. So what else? Oh, that's good. I think I'm actually going to in introduce in the single player. Uh partners like AI controlled uh, aliens that you can uh, rescue and they'll just follow you in like a snake formation and you can control their aim and shooting um, and you can still like if they die you can help them out but they're not other players like they're not they're not like uh, you know they only have one type of gun and they don't have any special skills um, I think that's the motivation would be to play with other humans would be because you have two heroes, you know, two hero characters instead of these generic, you know, pew pew shooter like uh, little AI guys that follow you around. But I think for the single player, it would be an interesting mechanic to have to help people who like are having difficulty even with a boss, like bosses, I can make the bosses way harder now because I can make uh, bullet sponges out of your friendlies. And that can kind of be your shield. Um, okay, so... What's next? Oh, the sword. Definitely needs to be... Adjusted. So it needs to keep swinging. So let us go to the sword. Let's change this music, first of all. It's a little bit too much. Alright, now let's go to the sword. Fix that up. Let's see. Lightsaber. Okay, so the, the problem here is that as soon as it hits something, okay, so this is, has its own de collision detection. It's not inheriting. Well, I guess the parent doesn't have anything. Wait a minute, here we go. Nope. Okay. Okay, so this is completely encapsulated, so we can do whatever we want here. Um, so what we want to do here, this is in the step event, and that's the problem. Um, we're doing our checks, and really, we should be doing collision checks on a timer, and then it... So we need an interval. Let me get some paper. We need a timer interval. Uh, for collision detection. And then here in the collision detection, whenever we get a hit, um, we destroy the sword, which means you still have to wait. There's still a wait. So actually, we don't want to destroy the sword. We want to. We want the sword to keep going. It's just that. Uh, okay, so let's just set up an interval. I think that's all we need is one timer. So we're gonna cut it, we're gonna cut this out, 
and then um see we are already deciding when this dies we want this to happen at the end of the animation not when it hits something uh that's only for that's only for bullets which i think so this gets killed this gets destroyed when we hit a bullet everything which is fine we'll leave that alone let's see this still needs to check every step I think what we'll do we'll set up a timer We need a timer for not checking collisions. Because we need to know every frame if there's a collision. When a collision happens. Um, when a collision happens, we need to set an alarm. And that means we're immune. We, we won't be dealing any more damage for a set interval. So we need a... We need an interval variable. Uh, let's say, I don't know, one second. Or half a second. Uh, and then... Whenever we check for collisions, at the very tippy top... We're going to check for uh, this timer. Uh, if we should uh, do collision. Okay, so that's one thing, that's another thing, and that's another thing. Alright, so I know what, what we need to do now. Oh, yeah. Well, you make a good point. Um, yeah, let me think about that. I th do I even have... I think I have already... Do I have already... Uh, I know on the player, on the player object, the player has his own... Um, you know, he flashes and vulnerable. Let me, let me see if I have something the same. I should. I blink a hurt color. So he does blink. But does that mean... Uh, oh, okay. Hittable. That's what Alarm 11 is. So he has an invulnerable state. So they do have it. 0 0.1. Alright, you have a good point. That's how I should be doing it. So why don't I do this? Because I already have... They, the enemies are invulnerable. It's just maybe... Um, the delay needs to be set. Hit timer. Hit damage blank. Alright, so let's look at the hit timer. Where's the hit timer here? Here we go. So, hit timer 0 0.16. Let's see if any of this guy's children has uh, have different timings. Let's check the grunt. Okay, I don't think the hit timer set on any of these guys. I think I'm just depending on the parent for that. Yeah, I think so. So if I think if I change the parent, so 0 0.16, uh, 
0 0.16 of a second. Maybe that's that's the issue. Maybe so. Maybe this should be more like one, uh, 25, 0 0.25. So a quarter of a second. And then on here, we're going to not kill the sword. We're just gonna let it take its course. So that's a hittable entity. Destructible object. Now see, destructible objects are different. They don't have that timer. So I still need this. Bullets I'm not gonna mess with because those are working fine. There's the destroy. So that's the only thing. So on this. That's what I'm looking at. Alright. Ah, oh, come on. Gee whiz. Alright. So let's try this. First I have to get a sword. Ah, sword. There we go. Okay. Fortunately, I have no health. Is there a health thing over here? No. Uh, I'm gonna test this out. On. Okay. Okay. Alright. Because the, these destructible, the doors and the explosive crates and all that like the saber was just mowing through them in like a split in a, like a split second but these guys don't want to mow down ah see I'm having the same issue Okay, so it's the attack delay. The attack delay isn't getting reset. Okay, so let's let's un. Where is that? I feel like I shouldn't. Comment the uh, the shoot delay. So what this is gonna do is oh no, I can't do this either. If I redo the shoot delay, Jesus. Um. This, re this resets the whether the player can shoot or attack. So every time I hit something, um, every 
time I hit something, he can, uh, you can immediately attack again, regardless of whether your last attack finished. So you're just like, like quadruple attacking or whatever. I don't know. Let's try this. Uh, it's, I, I have a save file, that's the only, that's how I do it, it's just I, the code for it changes up so fast that, um, because I'm adding new weapons, um, it's kind of hard, because of the way I'm saving it in the save file, uh, I guess, I don't know, I guess I could, I haven't really figured out a graceful way of having test keys. I don't mind it so much because um, playing the game naturally uh, helps me find bugs because that's usually the only that's the only time I'm gonna find bugs because that's the only time I'm playing the game. Um, so what I did was okay, so that was just for the sword. Like, I think... can't remember... Let me see... Yeah, it's, it's like some number. I think it's like 2. I think it's like 20. But I have to get to the next level, otherwise the save file will just get overridden. Ah, oh, Christ. Ah, oh, Christ. Like that was, that was a problem I had at my last job was that I would, you know, it, it wasn't my job to QA, but it, it was my job to QA my own code. So if I added something to the level, you know, to, to test things out easier, um, you know, the company I worked for had a QA department. So like eventually someone, somebody would find my mistakes. But like this project, I'm the only one working on it. So th there's no QA department. Like I'm the QA department. So I, you know, at, at one point or another, I'm gonna have to like do everything, test everything in the game the way it was meant to be tested. Like, um, you know, as if you were playing the game. And I, I was running into those problems. Like QA would always give me shit because I checked in something that, um, you know, I didn't. I didn't catch this bug, like it doesn't work in this situation because I wasn't playing the game normally. Like I was I had hotkeys to warp to every level, every scenario, every cutscene I was working on. And then I never caught all the obvious bugs because I was just like, well, I mean it loads, so it's the end of my job. Um <clears throat> So I, I I may as well just condense both into one. Although sometimes it does get... <laughs> it, it could take forever for me to get a melee weapon. <laughs> it's just because there's so many guns in the game. It's outweighing. Although there, I, there should be a 50% chance, I thought, for getting melee. I may have changed it. But... I haven't found anything yet. Oh wait, I know the code. I forgot, I was gonna change this to 20. Save it, okay. 
yeah, like... It, yeah, it, if I had a QA department, um, or somebody else to QA, like someone reliable, I'd have cheat codes, uh, cheat sheets, cheat buttons all, all over the place. All right, so should be starting with a uh, sword. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, this is the first level. Oh, Christ Almighty! I overwrote my. Uh, what's up, asterisk? I overwrote the goddamn save file. Let's just criminy, Jiminy Cricket. Because everything's reset in the first level, uh, the game doesn't bother <laughs> saving anything, so I'm just going to start this exit. Well, maybe I'll get a sword here. Maybe I'll get lucky. No, of course not. Alright, now, player, it was just weapon. I think this is just two for a sword. I might be mistaken. Whoa! Jeez! Stay right there, Game Maker. Just to get a sword. Here we go. Whoa, come on. Come on, come the F on. This was not. This was not the level to do this on. Alright, so I think I need health. Fuck is player one? Health, 100. I highly doubt it's gonna give me a hundred. I think it, I cap it. No, I cap it. At, well, I cap the HUD at 99. I don't know if that's the actual health variable. <clears throat> oh good, I do have a ton of health. He's up, brother! Oh, jeez. Alright. What the f... Wait a minute. This is taking up all my mana. I had that beam weapon the last Ah oh, jeez. Okay, well fuck. Um yeah, see this is this is why I I can't make a cheat sheet because like the game, it's everything's randomized, so it, it it's like it's kind of hard um, to make it do exactly make the thing you want because everything's interpreted. Um, like everything's just kind of like 
like if it figures out what the weapon is at the time that you use it. Um, if that makes any sense at all. Oh, God damn it! Yeah, this is not gonna work. I have to find an actual. I have to find an actual sword. Or at least not have that beam weapon before I get a sword. So I'm just gonna start anew. this one okay let's just try this again uh. sword <laughs> works I think it works yeah all right I'm only shooting out one that works the way I want it to kill them so that's not the issue well that's what that's doing fight well, what if I keep both of these oh you know what it's oh hittable entity I need to check the hit timer. I'm not checking the hit timer. That's what it is. Um, kill sword now. So these should be both. I, I don't... Okay, so with... The hittable entity I'm colliding with... Here, here I need to check if the hit timer um, is less than zero. So, hit 
Invisible Entity. All hittable entities have the hit timer. Let's set this. Yeah, that's fine. Hit timer. Yeah, so this is why. I haven't been checking the hit timer. Now this should do what I want it. What is this music? Some of Master Blaster is pretty good. But not that part. Do 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 Alright. I have high hopes for this for this working flawlessly. Okay. Uh jeez. Alright, come on. I need just one of you guys just to follow me. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Alright. Am I not hitting him? Come on. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Not registering as a hit. Let me just make extra sure. This guy. You are inheriting. You're not overriding anything. Okay. Let's. Um, it stops at zero, but it doesn't activate at zero. It activates at, like, negative one. So you always want to do less than zero, not at zero. Unless, um, yeah. I mean, in this scenario, I don't think it'll matter. But if you have something that's executing in the timer event, it's not going to execute on zero. It executes at negative one. Or something below zero. But the timer itself ends at zero. Um, either way, this should, this should be, this should be doing stuff. <laughs> uh, this is giving mana. Wait a minute. So, oh, wait a minute. So this is doing what I wanted to. It's not destroying the sword or anything. But... Explosion. My health. Oh, okay. So, but it should be damaging. I wonder, maybe I'm just not... Well, let's change this back to 1-6. Because maybe... Maybe that was what was working before. Um, so hit timer. And actually, maybe... Let me check the parent. Is hit. I think that's what I should just be checking. Let's just check that. So if I'm not hit, uh, you know, hit me again. Check, check again.
Ah, oh, fuck, I have three health again. Mm, this is not the level to, ch to test this out. With enemies exploding and all. Can't do that. Cannot. Cannot do that. I can't. <clears throat> Alright. Yeah, give me those meat wads. Oh, they're getting hit now. Fancy. Wait, so what did I change? Oh, I'm checking is hit. I wonder why checking the timer wasn't... Wasn't doing it. Oh, maybe because it's always... Only when it gets hit, I was checking it the wrong... The wrong way. But this is a binary check is easier, I guess. Alright, cool. So, this is neat. I... I want to see if I can get... Yeah! Alright, this is working perfectly. So the sword is out for like a second, okay? He actually swipes twice, if you can see it. He rotates the sword uh, 360 degrees twice. Now that allows the... the um, Like if you just do it once... Um, see, because the door uh, collision doesn't permit this. But for uh, a hittable enemy... See, I just got two hits in, but I only clicked once. Um, whereas, like, on destructible objects, I get in one hit, it destroys my sword, and then I have to wait for the player's uh, timer to let him attack again. Uh, but this this allows me to, to make weapons, to make different melee weapons, where it's like, the melee weapon is only out for half a second, so it only gets in one hit per click. Others can delay. Like you have a very long swipe. You know that maybe it takes two seconds, but it's a really long swipe, and so for those two seconds you can hit you can hit things, but because of these guys now I'm see I'm now I'm checking. I just wasn't I wasn't checking this collision properly. And probably I'm not doing it for the bullets either. Um but I, I wasn't using the intervals for the invulnerability for the uh, for the enemies, even though I had already set it up. So what I think I should do is check the bullets, since I know this works. The burger isn't reverting to non-flashy. Uh, what do you mean? Like they keep flashing? So enemies flash white when they're hit. Enemies continue flashing red when they're low on health. See, I, I don't have health bars. I don't. Um, I think there's enough on screen as it is. So I didn't want to have any more UI like health bars. So f in order for you to tell if an enemy is like one hit away from death, they just start blinking red like they used to do in the arcades. Like for like like how bosses used to flash red. So that's what everything does now. Let me check if these, let me check if these are in space. So this is the bullet. You know, and I could probably set up, I should set up the same kind of hit timer for a destructible. I, I wonder if they do. No, they don't. Oh, wait! Fuck, they do! Well, shit. Let's just do this for for everything. I'm such a stupid... Alright. If is hit. Instance place. Destructible. 
is hit. And then I don't need this either. So I don't do that. And for bullets... Still good. Yeah, you need to be able to deflect bullets fast. So that's why I'm destroying the sword. So I'll leave that as it is. But I want to check if my bullets are also checking for... For if it's hit. What is the interval for this? Oh, don't tell me. How do you not have... Well, wait a minute. Set alarm 5 to 1. Oh, maybe I'm not using... Alarm 4. Barrel explosive. Oh yeah, none of these are using it. I need to actually set this up then. Are all you guys... Inheriting... All you children need to inherit from your parents. Okay, they are. Uh, none of them are using Alarm 4, doesn't look like. So let's do this. Oh, interesting. Ah. Okay. That's where it's setting it. Alarm for hit timer. But but I didn't have a hit timer. You don't have a hit timer, buddy. There's no hit timer. You haven't set a hit timer. Unless this guy has it, which I highly doubt. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, it does. 0 0.03. Let's not... I think that was the problem. Let's do that. That should help. Okay, so... Instant success. Uh, do these have... See, I don't know if the spaceships have hit timers. They're using is hit, so they must. Oh, they're hittable entities, so they of course they are. Of course they are. Of course, of course. Very good. So I can use this then. For everything. I should be using it for everything. I don't know why I'm not. Alright. Instance exists, yada yada, with entity. That goes there. And all you nice people move over. Solid. Okay, don't need to check solids. Hittable entities? Yeah, I need to check that. Cool. So now this should be working the way I like thought I had it working and apparently didn't. Don't know what Don't know what was going on with me when I wrote this code here. I had all the Oh, maybe you know I probably wrote this collision code before I implemented those uh hit delays on the enemies. That's probably what happened. So let's try that. This should change everything. This should change my whole life. Oh! I do need to check. 
So these are commented out, these are commented out. Uh, should I be destroying? Okay. I think the bullets are I think the bullets are different. Does this mean the bullets are pier will pierce? So I should be able to just So that's cool. So I can hit multiple objects at the same time. Yeah, but see, it's still that's interesting. It's just um, it's nice that it, they're they're not hitting. Uh, they're hitting on a timer instead of they were just like creating these hits like every step like 60 you know 60 frames a second that's 60 steps uh second so um the effects aren't going overboard at least like i'm getting hit one hit one hit one hit one hit so this is all nice and actually this feels really good now this feels really good ah yeah see the destructible objects everything reacts the same now everything's consistent so that's good that was a lot of particle effects. I might need to tone that down. Okay, so now this is going to give me a lot, a lot more. Uh, uh, this is going to get. This is going to give me some ways to create different weapons and differentiate them. Because now they can hit consistently. Wow, that's. I think I need to uh, tone down. So that's cool sword. That was a, that was a big one that was bothering me. Uh, so let's try. I need to try the bullets now. The bullet. What guns? God damn it! Now that I need a fucking weapon, I get a sword. Awesome. Is this a dually? No. This shoots a bullet though. Okay. Well, I know that works. Bam, bam. And see, now this is nice. And it was it was creating like extra swords on top of the, my attacks because the other ones weren't waiting to to stop. Yeah, that's slowing it. That's slowing stuff down. And I can still kind of wail through enemies, but not to the degree that I was before. Um, I can only do so much damage within a, sp a span of time. So, f so now, in the future, it'll come down to uh, just tweaking the numbers. Okay, here we go. Fucking finally, this is better actually. Yeah, this has a quick. So let's see how this works. Yep, works like it's expected. Try an enemy. Yeah, nice. Nice and spongy. Nice, cool. Let's try it on the boss. That's interesting. I wonder. Can I set the timer on the boss's objects? Let's do that next. Let's see. Because that. Right now, I feel like it's just too easy to kill the bosses with quick weapons. Whoa. 
Ah, no wonder. I think this should actually be 0.16 for everything. And then maybe... <clears throat> maybe for the head, it'll be a lot less. Shit, I'm initializing here. Time. Uh, let's do this. Time. Let's do this down here. Hit timer. Let's do a quarter of a second. Uh, for the head. For the arms. I think they're fine with 0.16. And now everything should be not should be a lot less uh, able to um, be hit. So I marked that off. What's next? Oh, I need to tar I need to tone down those particles on those objects. Actually, let's make let's actually make their hit timer a little bit less. Like that, yeah. Um So these particle effects, if they're even particle effects, I don't even know. Destroy, is this where it's doing it? No. Particle explosion. I have a feeling these are... Dust. These are actual objects. Explosive count. What is this? not have better I don't have a particle script. Why don't I use um explosion? We can do dust, let's not do I think that's what's causing it. testing again? Fuck, I need the sword again. Oh. No, I guess I don't. Hmm. 
Actually, I think that should be less. Hit timer, yeah, that sucks. I wonder. 0.1 sec should do it. Okay. Yeah, not all those hits were registering with those traps. These guys work. Oh. Still creating those objects. Why is that? Huh. Do I have the wrong particle object? Explosive object. I don't understand. Is it? Why don't I just do this? shooting a shitload of particles, but it doesn't seem to be slowing anything down like it was before. Huh. What, what did I... Trash particles. Okay. Well. Alright. Seems to be doing fine now. Flow, they don't seem to be. They seem to be doing too much slowdown. Hmm. Alright. Ah, oh, goddammit. So that looks like it's fixed up. Okay. So two last things we can do is adjust the font, which, uh, well, I gotta take a break at 5.30, so in 10 minutes. Um, let's see, make new light. We can start, I wanna make a new light effect for the players. So let's set that up right now. That's, that should be easy to do and swap out. So right now we're using this for everything. Fast light. So it's 255. Why is why it couldn't be 256? I have no idea. Alright, um, okay, 
so let's... Let's make a new one of these. Okay. Ah, close enough. Okay, so let's copy that. Let's make a new layer. Uh, but we're gonna... This is gonna be... the other day. Why is it? Do the pivot from the middle. Why, why you don't do it? This does nothing. I don't understand. What's the point of this? Display the pivot. You, but you don't pivot around that pivot. You don't scale around the pivot. Oh, but you'll rotate around the pivot. Okay. Fuck you. God damn it. <sighs> what the fuck is the point? Um... Do this like I fucking eyeball. All right, let's just fucking let's just do that. Ah, let's do a shitty job. All right, let's change this. Let's make this uh, wee bit. Lighter. Uh, maybe this doesn't need to be quite as bright. Maybe we can get away with 90. Alright. Let's see what this does. I don't even know where to save this. Effects.
let's add a new. Try doing this. Let me create the light. Clear light. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, here we go. Shadow casting. Uh, light. These both use. So the shadow casting. pretty cool actually. I mean, I don't know if it fits in with the style of the game of the, of the other lighting. It is easier to see the character, the player that you are. I mean, you definitely stand out a lot more. So I don't know. Maybe I will keep it. Maybe I could even animate it. That way you definitely know where the player is all, at all times. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll animate it or make a different shape. density though.
35%. That's what I meant. Yeah, see, this is what I expected to be. Oh, yeah. Um, like, I didn't want to rip too much off of Nuclear Throne, which is why I'm not doing something like this, I, but, like, I don't know. I think just for the characters, it really does help make them pop out from the background. I'm trying a diamond just because, I don't know, I saw this other game use it and I thought it looked pretty cool. Yeah, the lights are already tinted. Um, each character has their own color, and that's reflected in their their lights. It's just hard to it's hard to tell because of there's other lights in the level, so it's just kind of hard to tell. It's only when you're in like dark dark levels that you can like tell. But uh, yeah, they are. Let's paste this. Flip it. Say this. Okay. Diamond. Yeah. And this will only be used by the player. I must tint the light. Oh yeah, I'm tinting the light here. Or wait, I must be tinting the light somewhere. I'm not, I'm not tinting it here. I'm tinting it somewhere in a script. I was thinking maybe I could rotate the light. Could that kind of help give the visual cue of where the player is at all times? Yeah, you know, this is pretty neat. I, I, like, it, it really doesn't fit in <laughs> with the lighting style at all. See, you can kind of tell they're tinted. The green guy is tinted. And Mine's kind of purple. All these guys are so close to me, but yeah. See blue, blue, yellow, pink, green. But um, it does like when players are next to each other that are emitting light. It, it, it would just get so saturated and busy. But this, these shapes, really help to kind of break up. The different players and where they're at and where their centers are at actually because the circular the circular sprites make it hard to tell where in space the players are but this diamond shape kind of creates a crosshair over the player and it really helps me like zero in on exactly where each player is in relation to other players and the environment like i don't even really need to look at the the player character, like the player sprites, I just look at their 
their lights now to kind of generalize where they are. Which this works really well and this is a more dimmer lit level. I'm wondering if there's other more brightly lit. Well, not this one. But, well, yeah, I guess so. Jeez, I don't know what my power is. Okay. Why are these... I feel like these are giving out way more coins than, uh... Than they were. Yeah, these are giving out way more coins than they're supposed to. What is up with that? Uh, all right, well, I think I'm going to keep this light. I might touch it up a little bit. That's pretty cool. Let me just look at this real quick, and then I'm, I need to take a break. Determining whether I'm hit or not. Wait a minute, but what's determining whether I'm getting hit? If I'm hit... But... Nothing is actually determining whether I'm hit. I don't understand how this is even working. This should say if I'm not hit. Yeah, maybe maybe they were always giving a lot of coins, but I, I don't understand. I don't. How many? It deter how many coins are dropping determines on whether this guy is hit, because this is just checking every single step. Uh, so obviously this hit event, this hit variable, isn't being properly triggered. Whoa, shit. Okay, never mind. If I'm 
not hit. Okay, so obviously I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> um, check. If I'm not hit. Okay, I think I'm. Check the I'm hit. But what's determining if I'm hit? Oh, maybe the bullet. Maybe the bullet's telling me I'm hit. And it starts this. I don't think I need this, though. Because alarm four... Sets this, so I don't need this. Before it goes to the timer. Interesting. I wonder if it's the bullet telling. I don't understand is these aren't apparent of what's detecting the collision. It's not a hittable entity. So solid. Solid. Yeah. So I'm telling it that it's hit. So, so I think I need to check here. If it's hit, or rather, if it's not hit, I think that's what's causing that's what's causing this to uh, become so violent with coins. Because there really isn't much wrong here. Okay, so. Okay. There's one more thing. Well, let's check this with the bullets. Because I'm not doing this binary check, it, it's and the collisions are checking every step. There's some gap between the time the bullet expires and the bullet uh, and. Um, because the bullet's the one setting the hit. So there's some gap of time. And depending on your frame rate, it's, it's a lot of steps that it's executing. So that's probably why it's dropping so many so many coins. It should be dropping one coin per per hit. Not that many coins. <laughs> I, <laughs> that was wrong. I set this to the longer the gap that this is gonna shoot out coins
Interesting. I guess I don't check for... I'm not checking for solid objects. So this, this, the problem is that I increase the hit timer and that's increasing the amount of time that it has to disperse coins. Let's check the alarm. Let's try this.
to set another variable to check only once when this gets hit. Okay, let's try this. Oh, wait. Greater than. This should work.
cool. This was what... See, that's what it's supposed to do. Shoot out one coin. There we go. One coin, and then a couple more, I guess, afterwards. One, two, three, four, yeah. Yeah, see, that's what it was supposed to do. Can we... Okay. So that was what... That's what was causing that. Alright, so we've fixed up a lot of... What's up, Zodit? Fixed up a lot of uh, bugs, but it's making the combat feel way more tight because it just wasn't... Uh, things just didn't feel like they were connecting. The timing wasn't quite right, but now... Now I've hooked up everything. Everything should be working the way it should be. So the only other... I guess really kind of big bug that I feel like needs to be fixed is just the font, which is it's not really a bug, but it's just uh, players have been saying it's kind of hard to read the font, so I want to uh, fix that up, and also I want to add outlines around the entirety of all the fonts because um, they show up a lot better on screen. I think the tiniest font. It's just white, doesn't have any outlines, so it's kind of hard to read that. So, um, I'm going to stop the recording here.